That's the reindeer section. Beautiful. Yeah, nice stuff. Um, it's a kind of Scottish supergroup. Lots of different artists from uh, Scottish bands. Ben and Sebastian. Ben and Sebastian. Be Is Arab it any singer from them? Uh, it may well be, yeah, on that particular track. Different people, Mull Historical Society, Idlewild, Teenage Fan Club, different people from all those bands. Get together with a guy called uh, Gary Lightbody from Snow Patrol and he uh, writes and the tunes. And all that on XFM 104.9, Steve. Absolutely. Uh, let me just name that track. That track was Grand Parade from their current album, uh, Son of Evil Reindeer. Feeder. Come back around on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais. Uh, but who are you? <laughs> oh, thanks for asking, Rick. Steve Merchant. Uh, with us, Carl Pilgerton. Well, Carl, um, now I know I shouldn't, uh, but I met Carl in the week again. I, I told you you shouldn't do I this. I know. You know you should but then when the he weekend. starts, he starts saying things like, oh, is this loud with the people? I go, no, save it, save it. And we just sit there and I'm scared to talk in case he comes up. But, um, you did tell me a couple of little things, didn't you? True stories that, you know, that, that I mean, I enjoy. Can you tell, um, Steve about the doctor? Right. Oh God. Um. What's what, where, is this something that happened to a friend of yours, or is this? Uh, no, no. I read about it. You read about it. Okay. Um. There's this little lad. Right. <laughs> okay. First of all, it's it's years ago, right? When right, they didn't have times. they didn't have decent doctors in like every town and that. Yeah. And uh, this little kid is dead ill, right? Yeah. And the local doctor. <laughs> Well, there's a phone call involved, so I don't yeah, really well, give the impression it. that it's like medieval, medieval times. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. But, but I, I didn't say that, I just said it's years ago. Go on, so then. this kid's ill, right? Yeah. And he's, uh, he's lying in the bed, and uh, he's, he's all like, all going funny colour and that. Yeah. And, uh, and his mum says, I'm gonna get the local doctor around, the local doctor comes around. And uh, he says, oh, so I don't know, I don't know what's up with him. He said, um, to leave it with me. Leave <laughs> 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 it with me. He well, said, the doctor uh, said that. I'll have a yeah. He said I'll um, I'll, I'll phone up uh, a top doctor. Okay. Who was in America or somewhere like that. Yeah. And uh, so he goes to the phone in his office and he calls America and because it's years ago the phone line isn't that good it's all crackly and that. Right. Yeah. So he's talking to the doctor and he's saying I've got this kid. He's a funny colour and. Uh, you know, he's it, it, really weak and that. I don't yeah. know he's not giving him much to go on. <laughs> right? <laughs> sure. So, uh, so the American doctor, right? Yeah. He goes, yeah, what do you want to do? And it's all breaking up, right? Yeah. He goes, what you gotta do, you gotta, uh, <laughs> it's all breaking up. You gotta give him some, uh, parrot's blood, right? Some parrot's blood? Well, that's what he thought he said, but the line was really bad. Yeah. He meant parents' blood, but he, he heard that he said parrots' blood. He oh said, "Right, I'll, I'll I'll do that. Leave I, it with me." I can see where this is going. He goes goes to uh, you know a pet shop. Okay. <laughs> he says, "Give us like half a dozen parrots." Sure. Takes them round to the kid's house. Takes the blood from the parrots. Puts it into the kid. Kid's fine. <laughs> The kid's fine. <laughs> I've it, never it worked. <laughs> such a load of shite <laughs> in my life. I've never heard <laughs> such twaddle, such <laughs> just made up, enhanced, exaggerated. <laughs> Oh, in what my a load life. of old rubbish, I Carl. mean, when he told me this, he said, the doctor said, what do I do? And the doctor on the other end said, give him some blood. And the doctor went, where do I get blood from? <laughs> <laughs> so hang on, wait, give, I just need to, I just give, need Where to do I get blood from? From his, give him some parents' blood. <laughs> give him some parents' blood. <laughs> give him some parents, some, some parents' blood. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> But hang on, I just need to know where you Sorry, read this. Carl. Where was this? Where did I you read stitched this? you up. You know when he said, he said, so do you believe it? I went, tell it to Steve. He went, do you believe it? I went, tell it to Steve. Carl, but where did was you read it? it? That, that was on the internet. <laughs> What, where about is illnesses. it on the internet? Where, I'm what, always what looking pages? at stuff. I was looking at stuff this morning because of, um, because <laughs> of Yora Geller last night. <laughs> Eating, uh, eating all that funny food and that. And also, uh, they all got a bit scared last night, didn't they, with a, with a snake. Hmm. I didn't see that. So is this, um, I'm a celebrity getting me out of Yeah, it? yeah, he got all worried about a snake getting on the, uh, sort of wandering about in between the sleeping bags and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, they were all scared and it is so Leave easy. it with me! Sorry, the doctor says, leave it with me. <laughs> leave um, it with me. <laughs> yeah! Ah, uh, leave it with me! <laughs> well, they were all scared because there's a snake and it's so easy to find stuff out. Before the, before the, where are they? Where is this jungle? <laughs> Australia, right. I think. Before they went, Give it half an hour on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> I found out with snakes, you don't need to worry, right? Okay. Um, they're deaf, they haven't got any ears. Right. So as long as you, you're really quiet, Creep it'll, around, it'll yeah. probably leave you alone. Yep. And also, they don't have eyelids. Uh huh. Um, so they were suggesting if one's coming towards you, just 
like kick sand in its eyes because <laughs> yeah. it can't blink and it leaves it a bit like annoyed yeah. and it wanders off. But they didn't do any research before they went. Yeah. And that's, that, you're, you're, I think your knowledge would hold you in good stead. I don't think you need to know any more than you know. Um, well, we're going to come back to that, because he also explained to me where um, uh, a saying comes from that I want to, you to be part of. But, um, oh, and also, we should mention as well, Carl, you've come up with a, a competition, is this right? Brilliant competition. You, have you, have he, you thinks this, this up? he thinks this can go to television. Is this an idea you've come up with? Yeah. Carl, I'm so looking forward to so, it. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, continuing, uh, our exposure of myths and, and legends of Rockful Tale, we expose that myth that some maybe older rockers have, have had it and they've gotten a, they, they were never any good and the yeah. kids today- Oh, I don't want we to hear that. People like Rod Stewart. Rod Stewart's a great artist. This, uh- He's a slightly laughable man, but a great artist. Let's go back to when it was, when it was rocking. When he cut the mustard. Yeah. yeah. Rod Stewart, you wear it well. Great tune. On XFM 104.9. Yeah. This doctor, I mean, we <laughs> should find out who he is, really, and if he's still practicing, because it, it worries me a little bit that he, you know, mm. he did that. Also, I mean, he thinks he's got away with it, but how could he be sure those parrots wouldn't talk? True. True. Do you know yeah, what I mean? There yeah, were six yeah. of them, they probably got together and they, pro they probably put it on the internet. I mean, it, I, I feel that that story, Carl, <laughs> it, it asks more questions than it answers. <laughs> yeah. Really. Like most of your stories. Yeah. That's the problem. I always, feel them, I always feel like I need a little bit more information. Like, yeah. did the parrot boy continue to live? <laughs> yeah. You know, to a ripe old age, or did he yeah. die weeks later after this charlatan doctor who was yeah. going around, you know, was spurious and Did he break right? his nose trying to crack a big nut? Mm. No, I, th I think he's, uh... He was all right. He, he lived to a. See, I'd have shouted if I was that doctor. I'd have shouted that down the phone. Are you sure you said parrot's blood? Yeah. Are you parrot's sure it was parrot's blood? Listen, I, I mean, I, you know, I'm not the best doctor in the world, but did you, did you say parrot's blood? <laughs> yeah, but what you're forgetting is you're going back to the time where like he used leeches to do like. No, 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 we're going back to the late seventies. <laughs> if there's a phone call to America direct. <laughs> Come on, Carl. They weren't calling America, like, in the medieval times or or in the Victorian age. Come mm. on, think about it, Carl. Yeah. You know, it's, this has got to be, like, the, the like, you know, 30s or 40s. <laughs> the earliest. <laughs> you know? Right. <laughs> I'm intrigued to know where this. I think there's someone on the on the web who's just putting information on there to lead you astray. Yeah, I don't because you're the only person who finds this stuff. Other people are using this to write what thesis. What were you looking at that then? What were you? What were you looking always, I always look at f weird stuff. What were you yeah. looking for? But what do you type in the search engine to find parrot blood stories? What were you looking for? There was this woman with a weird head. <laughs> Why were you looking for that? What were you? Just because I'd heard about it. I'd heard like someone talking about it on another station. Right. right. About this woman with a with a funny head. Right. <laughs> I love the fact I love the fact you're intrigued with these things. You go in the basement of Waterstones or Dylan's or somewhere and there's these there's these medical books that you're loving, mate. Yeah, well this is free on the internet, isn't it? It's all there. Yeah. So what do you typed in weird head woman or <laughs> <laughs> Lady with head <laughs> Yeah. Weird 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 people or something I put in. Sure. Yeah. That did you did you come up? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> 7,000 hits, Carl Pilkington. <laughs> well, it's all there, isn't it? It's interesting. The one that I was telling you before about, um, the, what's the name? The, the lost letter. The lost letter? What's the lost, this? uh, lost postcard that's, uh, just turned up. Some yeah. woman, uh, sent a postcard years and years ago to, to a niece or something, right? Yeah. And, and her niece was, like, three years old sure. back then. And just now, like, I think, like, Yesterday or the day before, it turned up. The postcard turned up seventy-four years late. <laughs> seventy-four years late. It took seventy-four years. And that three-year-old girl's been living in the same house that whole time. <laughs> <laughs> well, that yeah, sure. <laughs> there's no way. You see about what that. I mean? There's always a question you can ask <laughs> to just scratch the credibility of these stories. Yeah. There's always. It's like the apocryphal tale. Was this the is slugs? It, was this those slugs from last week? Yeah, were they were holding back because they're slow. Because the postman slug is useless. It's round takes him seventy four years. Then he's got to go back to the beginning. He's got seventy four years, and they can't carry the bag. But that's where they go. That's why they turn to glue. That's why they turn to glue. Oh. It's pitiful. It is pitiful. So you, so you don't believe that someone sent a postcard years ago <laughs> and somehow it's been stuck in the bottom of a post bag or something and it's only just- Stuck in the bottom of a post bag? Yeah. That means that there's like an, a 95 year old postman who's still yeah. wandering around. Did, 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 you, did you have to pay like the, the difference and the charges? Uh, Cause presumably th th it, it was- It wouldn't have had Queen Elizabeth's- uh, It was, it was a penny one, black, it? presumably, was it? Yeah. <laughs> what would be on the stamp? It would have been invalid, surely. <laughs> 
don't know. That's See, these are the what. questions no, you should no, no, ask no, no, yourself. Because no, no. if it's the postman's fault, the post no, office postman. can't turn out. He was out. three dead. at the time himself, wasn't he? He was dead. No, he is dead. Yeah, he'll yeah. be well and truly dead now. Yeah. But the fact is that the post office made an error, <laughs> right? They lost this letter. Sure. Mm. It's only just turned up. They can't turn around and say, sorry about this, I hope it isn't urgent. Um, <laughs> it, it, it's turned up 74 years late, and by the way, you owe us 25 pence. Yeah. Yeah. They wouldn't yeah. do that, would no, they? No, that's so, true, that's true. So that's true. You're asking questions, AC. That's, that's true, you see.